In this video, I'll show you how to force the shipping to the customer's billing address in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page. And as you can see, we've removed the option which says ship to a different address and we've completely disabled the shipping field. Instead, what we've got is we've got the billing details here. Okay, and I've added this shipping address here in between the billing details. So it makes more sense to the user. So this is optional. You can remove it if you like. But if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce commerce once you've done so let's head back over to our dashboard and i'll leave the link in the description below okay so here we are in our wordpress dashboard and now the second step is to go ahead and upload the plugin in which you just downloaded so you'll go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the file once you've done so you'll see this aio checkout menu here for all in one at checkout we'll go ahead and click on it okay and now the next step is to go ahead and create a new checkout form so in your case you'll go ahead and click create new checkout since i've already created one i'm just going to go ahead and edit this one in fact i'll delete um, this checkout and i'll create a new one just to show you okay and now i'll create a new checkout so this is the default view once you've created a checkout so we've got our billing section our shipping section and order summary shipping method and also our payment section as well okay so to remove our shipping section so all we have to do is just go ahead and disable our shipping section okay so now we just need to go ahead and enable the shipping form so we'll navigate to settings and we'll go ahead and enable this and then we can go ahead and name this checkout form so i'm going to name mine um, global checkout and i'm going to leave this as default so it applies to everyone and then where it says design here i'm going to go ahead and select two column layout you can go ahead and select the single column if you choose and then in the future we'll have various different templates for you to choose from somewhere down here okay so now we can go ahead and hit save changes okay so now when we view and refresh our checkout page now all we've got is our billing section here, which forces our shipping address to our billing address. So we can do one more thing. We can change this heading here to say billing and shipping, for example. So let's head back over here and let's edit this section name here. And we can say billing and shipping details, right? Okay. And then one final thing whilst we're here is if you wanted to disable any of the default fields or sections, you'll just go ahead and click this um, eye icon here. And if you wanted to add new fields, you'll go ahead and click on this settings cog here. And then you can go ahead and just drag and drop the different fields onto your page, for example. So let's say we wanted to add a, a multi-select box, right? So we can click on this here. And then when we click this settings icon, we can actually go ahead and edit the um, options here. So we can set this to required. And then also once the users made their selection, we can choose where to display it. So if we want to display that information on the thank you page, in their account page, and in the order details page as well. And then when we click on options, and then here we can create the individual um, options for our multi um, checkbox. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and X this off. And let's go ahead and just remove this field for now. And then now let's hit save changes and we should see our section heading updated on the checkout page. So now when we refresh this page, we can see that this section's updated and it makes more sense to the user. So we're letting them know that this will be used for their billing and also shipping details also. And that's the force the customer's shipping address to their billing address in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.